What's up everybody, it's Katja here and we're back with another furniture makeover. This week I'm bringing you this beautiful china cabinet uh, that is in pretty rough shape, so it definitely needs some love. We had to remove this part to fit it in the car and I actually like the cabinet without this. I will save this maybe for some other project, uh, but there is some little things here that it needs to be removed on the top. So first we're going to remove that, then I am going to uh, give it a really good clean, remove the hardware, uh, wash it outside, inside, and then I'm going to add some little moldings here on the drawers. So that is uh, what I'm planning to do today. So let's get started. There's so much dust on the top, so I will make sure to clean that as well because there is a lot of dust. So we are going to go leave this hardware later on, but for now we're just going to remove it and clean it. It was really used. You can see all the scratches and everything. It did its job. You can see all the scratches. So we're going to paint the shelving as well. I'm going to tape the glass because it's going to be much easier to clean it. As I was cleaning, I noticed that this veneer here is uh, peeling. So I'm going to put some wood glue to glue that, to fix that. Uh, it's going to be challenging because you can't just put so much wood glue in there. So I'm going to put some wood glue in there and then I'm going to use a floss to uh, push it further in the back. So let's do that now. Now we're going to make some molds that I'm going to attach to the drawers. Uh, I'm using Grandior keyholes. And for this project, I picked this one. It's very cute one. For this, I will be using amazing casting resin that dries in 10 minutes. So you can just make it and go in 10 minutes. And you do that by mixing um, a solution a with solution b equal parts you mix them and you pour them into the mold directly and you're done Now we're going to let this dry for 10 minutes and I will come back to remove it and make another one. This is what it looks like after 10 minutes. Uh, it's completely white and I'm going to remove it now. And I repeat this process four times because I need four of this. All you have to do is measure and find the center of your jar and glue it. Uh, I'm using Gorilla Glue for this, so let's do that. And now we're done prepping this piece. Uh, we removed the hardware, we added the tape, we cleaned everything, I fixed the veneer on the drawer and I added these beautiful moldings and now everything is nice and ready to be painted. I will be using uh, Anislon Burgundy color for the outside of the cabinet. 
Annie Sloan, a thin in black for inside the cabinet. And then I'm going to add this beautiful uh, Royal Burgundy transfer by Redesign with Prima. And I will add that inside the cabinet. Uh, one part I'm not sure how I'm going to approach is gold. I don't know if I'm going to uh, add gold gilding wax or if I'm going to use uh, gold leaf. I'm not sure how I'm going to approach that. I will think on it, but for now I'm going to start painting. So we're going from top to down and we're going to paint first inside the cabinet. Oh wow, look at that. So rich, rich. I don't remember last time I uh, painted piece in burgundy, but I think this is going to be so good. So let's paint. Now I'm going to add second coat inside and outside for solid coverage. Now that our painting is done, we can move on to the transfer. And I already showed you this beautiful transfer. It's called a Royal Burgundy. It comes in six pieces like this. And I'm going to apply it in the back of the cabinet inside. So let's get started. It's a very big transfer. So we're looking for the top first. I'm going to start from the top and work my way down. I'm going to start from here. I mark some dots here and over here one uh, to give me kind of an idea where is the middle. It's looking really good so far. I kind of went down a little bit on this part, but I can easily fix that with some paint. I just touch it up and it won't be noticeable at all. I got some Antoinette and I got some Capri pink 
and I need a little bit of yellow, so I'm gonna add a little bit of Tilton, which is a yellow color. So I'm just playing here with colors to cover this line. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just wanna kind of mask that. And then I'm gonna add some pink here, darker pink. Great. It doesn't have to look perfect, but when you back up, you can't even tell. I actually think I did a pretty good job. I kind of blended it and I think it looks great. So I got here my uh, brush that I use Athenian Black with, and now I'm going to go around the corners a little bit. I want that faded look. So I'm going to try and do that and see what happens. Now we're going to do some gold leafing. I got here Anislon imitation gold leaf and Anislon a gold size and some detail brushes. Gold size is your glue and that's what you apply first. So I'm going to go first and apply it on these beautiful molds that we made. Um, I added way too much, I can see that already. But that's all right. I'm just going to have to wait longer for it to dry. Now this looks milky and you do not want to apply your gold leaf when this looks milky. You want to let it uh, dry and looks transparent. So you will see in few minutes, in few minutes, this is going to dry. And that's when you know that it's ready. So uh, while that is drying, I'm going to apply on all four. So here. You can see how this is not looking milky anymore and it's sticky if you touch it. I'm just gonna cut a little piece. I'm not trying to waste this so much. to go with a brush over. I first go with a soft brush and then I go with a little rougher to get rid of this.
All we have left to do is put clear wax, some black wax for aging, attach the hardware, uh, remove the tape and we will be all done. So we have a clear wax here by Annie Sloan. This one is for protection and you must use it first before you apply black wax. In order to apply black wax, you must apply clear wax first. Otherwise, uh, you will just, your black wax will only get stuck there on chalk paint and won't move anywhere. And then you want to wipe all this extra off and a lot of people get confused but uh, imitation gold leaf can be protected with clear wax uh, a real gold leaf cannot be protected with wax it has to be protected with gold leaf sealer but this is the imitation so you won't have any problem so i'm going over the gold with black wax. And then I'm going to go over with the towel to get some extra off if I feel that I put too much. And then I'm going to corners. And then I'm going to do this mold. Going around it. So basically that's all I'm doing to all the drawers. I'm just going over the corners, edges, adding black wax, adding some depth to this piece, going over the gold to make it look more aged. And then I'm going to repeat the same process to the hardware. I'm going to apply clear wax and then black wax and we will be all done. And we're done with this cabinet. It's so beautiful, classy and elegant. I love this color. It's such a nice, rich color. The transfer inside totally made this cabinet special. I love everything together and uh, I hope you like it too. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time with a new project and more ideas. Bye guys.